Hey guys, welcome back to the Stag Show. If you're unfamiliar with my channel, I share the creation process of my creepy cute lowbrow and gothic fantasy art, as well as talk shop of being an artist with random tutorials and vlogs from time to time. This is kind of a different video, um, because I don't normally post my digital art stuff, but I have, um, at least footage for four different cards, maybe five, because I had streamed the creation of it. I don't know if you guys had seen, um, my Oracle deck back in spring, like this footage is that old, it's just been kind of buried within my computer. But since I had streamed the creation, I actually had the footage, because I don't normally record things when I'm, I'm working on a computer doing digital stuff. Um, so this oracle deck was entirely screen printed, and uh, it was a crazy stressful experience, because um, I had to like reteach myself how to screen print. I hadn't done it since high school, but I really wanted it to turn out. So like I'm on this image, um, all the oracle cards are the same. How I uh, and I sometimes do this with coloring pages. It depends on what I'm gonna end up doing. If I'm gonna do it like an end product with it instead of just like a coloring page, what I do is I I use a white layer and I just remove. So instead of drawing with like the paintbrush tool right now, I am drawing with the eraser. And I have a light black layer behind the white. Like my initial concept sketches and are always pretty ugly and harsh. I don't refine them that much and like these ones were really tiny, like uh because I just drew a bunch out on the same piece of paper and then scanned them in and and kind of resize them for the cards, which that's actually a pretty common theme. Like I draw fairly small, so even when I go to transfer them over to like wood or canvas, I have to blow up the sketch and they're not as detailed and sometimes things are a little skewed. Like it's not as noticeable when it's like this tiny little thumbnail. But because of the way I was going to uh, print these guys, it was going to be white ink on black paper. I, I needed a real strong negative of all these characters that I was making. Something that would stand out really well and be cohesive on the paper. I, I am actually really happy with the way the Oracle deck turned out. I'm thinking about this coming year, um, 2018, to uh, re-release it. Because I, I can't, in hindsight, uh, screen printing every deck is uh, very, very, very time consuming. So there's a lot of work that still goes into making one. So I might re-release it as a printed one with a back. Because right now I can't really put backs on them. Because the way my, my print setup is kind of evolved. I don't have anything to line up the screens precisely to be able to do that. I just don't have the setup. But anyways guys, um, let me know what you think about this because uh, like posting the digital art is something I don't really do. I, I very rarely do it in streams most of the time when I'm working on coloring pages. I just get them done during the day. I'm not even streaming. Um, I don't record it. I do have a couple of the coloring pages I did. Uh, one from the Alien coloring book and one from the Gothic Fantasy, which was the, the Coffin Girl. I don't I just released some pins and stickers and the Coffin Girl was in that as well. Which I, I really, I really like the way she turned out. Um, so I do have like a tiny bit of footage from random stuff that I have done digitally. If you guys would like to see it, let me know. I, I might do a video on my thoughts on digital art because I've realized that it's taken a back burner in my life compared to my traditional art and 
share some of my thoughts on that. That'll probably be like a vlog. Um, I also am working on a vlog about making prints because a lot of times people will ask the question of pretty much getting into the art business and that is one of the first like products that is uh, definitely helpful to have. This girl ended up being one of my favorite of the cards. Um, I was really worried how she would turn out because not all that white and her hair would show up. It's just so tiny and minuscule. But uh, like it, it, it was really curious to see how it would actually look when I, when I did the screen printing because I had to test these cards and there were some edits I had to do to this after the fact because the prints didn't quite work out so I had to go back and refine some lines and resize things and then reprint at, well it's not as simple as just like reprinting and I had to burn another screen and like it was a mess here for months as I tried to figure all this stuff out but I do not- I do not regret it. So, I don't- I don't know if I said this. This was card number nine, um, called The Spider. When I did this, uh, deck, I thought of things to me that were inspiring and possibly symbolic. I used, uh, references from some astrology runes, um, even tarot, like, some themes and elements and were, to me, they were symbolic and kind of corresponded, like, but I kind of encourage people to, if they want to, they can find their own meanings because there might be some people that are more experienced with tarot reading and oracle cards and just feel comfortable, like, if there's some other symbology to the card that y you see. So I left extra room in the book for people to write what they saw or whatnot if they wanted to change the meanings of the cards themselves. And not all people that get the oracle decks really even plan on using them to read at all. They just want the artwork because essentially it is a pack of uh, 22 uh, art prints. So I will catch you guys again soon. Make sure to comment and let me know what type of videos you would like to see soon. You can catch me on my social media. Those links are below in the description. You can also find my shop, lowbrowmisfits.com, for a plethora of paintings, prints, pins, stickers, and more. And you can find my coloring book series, Misfits, a coloring book for adults and all children on Amazon. Bye!